Hello everybody, welcome to another video, and recently somebody asked me how I made my dynamic characters for my game. And well, today I'm going to be showing you how to add these dynamic characters to your game. They have moving mouth and eyes you can use by a control panel. And yeah, this is a pretty cool system, so let's get into how to add it. Okay, so first thing that you're going to want to do once you're in studio, is you're going to want to make sure you download the dynamic characters. I'll have a link in the description for this. So just download this and open it up in Roblox Studio. So once you have it imported into Studio, first you're going to go to Lighting, take the dummy model, and put it into Lighting. Then do the same with the Starter GUI. Put it into Starter GUI. And then same with Starter Character Scripts. Okay, so once you have everything where it needs to be, then you're going to go to the Characters. And you're going to want to find the character that you want. For this tutorial, I'm just going to be using the blocky character. There's also an Arthro character in case you want to use that instead. So just take the character that you want. And drag it into starter player. Then delete the other character. And then just delete the dynamic characters folder. And now when you hit play. You'll see that you spawn in as a dynamic character. But right now, when you click this, nothing happens. And so we're going to make some animations for this. Okay, so what you're going to do is take the starter character out of starter player into workspace. Then you're going to want to go to plugins. And you're going to want to go to the animation editor. Then you're going to click on the rig. And I'm just going to name this one Blink. And so what you want to want to do is how do you animate this face? So go down to here to where it says your char starter character name. It'll say IK and then it'll say face. Click on face and this panel should open up. This is where you're going to move the face. So as you can see, when you move these different like things like that, the eyebrow moves up. And you move these different dials to move the, to move the face in different ways. You can move the mouth side to side. You can open the mouth using these different panels right here. Alright, so I'm just going to make a little quick blinking animation for my character. So I'm just going to go to the eyes, and I'm going to drag them shut. Just like this. And as you see now, the eyes are closed. So it goes from this to closed. And then I'm going to add a little weight right here. No weight, like right here. And then I'm going to loop it. And as you can see, my character blinks. Just going to drag that out. And then let me paste this right here. And now that makes a little blink. Every few seconds it blinks. Make that a little bit longer. And now we have a little blinking animation. And now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on these three dots. Then you're going to want to click Publish to Roblox. And under Creator, this is very important, make sure you have it set to whatever the game is made by. If it's a group game, set it to the group. If it's just made by you, click, click me. And then just click Submit. And then right here, there's a little button right here. Click that, and it should say ID copied. Now scroll down here. Go to start a GUI, then go to the main one. And now right here, click animations. There should be an animation button right here. Go under that, and then there should be an animation right here. In the animation, paste in the ID. And now let's put this character right back into starter player. Now if you hit play. Character loads in, now you can click the animations button right here. And when you click this, your character starts blinking. And now if I click stop. Now we can actually add more animations. So just click on the animations panel, scroll down, click a visible right here. That way it'll be visible. And then I'm just going to rename this to blink. And then I'm going to duplicate this right here. It's going to click duplicate. And I'll pull it down here. Now I'm just going to rename this one to normal. 
and I'm going to set the ID just to zero. That way it'll just display a normal face. And then I'll add another one. I'll name this one just to wink. And now let's take the character model out again. And let's make a wink animation. Go into here. We can just delete all of this if you want. And I'm going to start as a normal face. And then I'm going to go to a winking animation. So from here, and then I'm going to go to face. And I'm going to make the character wink. Be closing that eye. And then making the eyebrow go down a little bit. And then you can also tick this little box right here. And basically what it'll do is it'll make it when you move one side of the face, it'll move both sides. So we can make it smile. So if we drag this right here, as you can see, both sides of the face go up. Make a little, just a little smile. Like that. And now if we publish this. And now we can put the starter character away. And a starter player. Click on this one, wink. And we can set the ID to this. That we just made and now set this to invisible and now if we hit play now when our character loads in we can go to animations we can click on blink our character blink will click normal it'll stop blinking and we can also click wink and our character will wink and yeah you can make all kinds of different animations and also a cool feature about this is when you uh, load in, it actually loads your character onto the onto the custom character, so it loads your clothing onto it. And yeah, that's basically all this is. You can make custom systems for us. Like you can make it so uh, when you're idle, your character blinks, and when you talk, your character's mouth moves. And yeah, you can make really cool things of this. Um, it's just a basic little system. I have a link in the description where you can like add this to your game. Just download it and add it into your game and set it up. And thank you so much for checking out this video. Make sure to like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.